Hello everyone, Pentef here today for a new preview in which we will discuss the 7.1 update. Plot twist already, it doesn't bring a lot of new stuff. You are waiting for it, but you're not excited by its content, except if you have a lot of money, because oh boy will we see new premiums, because vacations of Wargaming's employees are not gonna pay themselves, am I right? For the overall changes, uh, nothing to be really excited about concerning tier 1 to tier 5, except the fact Wargaming decided to increase the HPs of all these tanks. Is it a good idea? Yes, I think it is, simply because when you were facing tier 5s or tier 6s that were already buffed in terms of HP, it felt a little bit unfair. I mean, you are already a tier 5 against a tier 6. And yet, you can't even counter with some good HPs. Most of the time, some tier 6 could actually one-shot with HE a lot of tier 5. So, this new update is welcome for low tier and, of course, seal clubbers that can't manage to do great in tier 10. Now for the juicy part of the video, let's talk a little bit about the tier 10, the Grill 15. Wargaming decided that despite the fact that the tank was already great, it would be a good idea to actually increase the DPM. That went from 11.66 seconds when fully equipped to 11. I never thought I'll see the day the Grill will get buff, but here it is. Funny thing, because the Grill is already great in its current state. But people tend to play it like donkeys. So overall, an extremely good news for Grill player, as they will receive a free buff on a tank that definitely don't need one. The second buff is about the SP1C or SPIC, I don't know how it's pronounced because we have only capital letters on tanks and therefore it's impossible for me to know except if I google the thing but I'm too lazy to do it so we're gonna call it SPIC and this sentence was a little bit too long. It received a huge buff on pretty much everything. I mean, it's a welcome buff simply because the speak is already horrible to play in its current state. But I want to remind you one thing. Buffed or not, the purpose of the speak is only to get HE by all other tanks. But anyway, we also have some good news concerning M41 Bulldog, AMIC-3075 and the T-71 because they are all receiving both a DPM buff but also a mobility buff. I don't really know why the mobility because the tank were already great but why not, I'm gonna take it as I've enriched all these three tanks. Now, one more thing to notice, probably the IS-6 and the KV-4 are receiving an armor buff. Is it gonna make a difference? I'll let you judge by yourself because I truly don't think this buff is gonna change anything at IS-6 weak spots because, let's face it, the tank is already a big weak spot by himself. Now, for the KV-4, it's a little bit better. Because actually, when you take a look at the armor profile, Wargaming really tried to make the tank worth it once again. But there is still a huge problem. The cupola, everybody is gonna go through. I mean, it's the weak spot and I don't think anybody will try to shoot somewhere else. But it's still nice buff, which will allow you to sustain a little bit more on the battlefield. Now, overall, we have new stuffs as well during the 7.1 update. We have the legendary camouflage for the T5042, which is a hint that probably this tank is gonna be sell in this update. And I want to remind you, it's coming in crates, in 4% chances crates, and you will have a chance in these crates to actually win the legendary camouflage called Shark, so T-54E2 Shark. It seems also like they decided to put all reactor or nuclear reactor uh, attachments in the shop. Uh, why not? Why not? Uh, it's a th aesthetic, so it's not gonna be a problem. And finally, these new avatars. Uh, I don't really know what they are for. All I know is that the one with the shell is for the skirmish battle mode. You will have to win 20 battles in this mode to unlock it. 
Finally, as you all know by now, we are waiting for several American premium tanks, but also the 50 GP. So I don't know when these tanks are going to be released. The only one I'm sure about is the T-54 E2 because we got infos from the 7.1 update that the legendary camo is available. But for the rest of the tanks, it's a mystery. The 50 TP is still in test, so maybe we're going to have to wait for the 7.2 update to see it. For the T-25 Pilot 1 and T-26 E3 Eagle 7, they are both finished in terms of testing, so we don't know when they are gonna eat the shop. It can be soon enough in the 7.0 update or maybe in the future. Anyway, I don't have any more infos, so I hope this will satisfy you and I'm gonna see you soon for a new video. See ya guys.